ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಕ್ರೋ ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಪದ ಕಮಲಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುನ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂಶ್ಚ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಹಗಣ ರಘುನಾಥಾನ್ವಿ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾದಾನ್ ಸಹ ಗಣಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾನ್ವಿ ತಾಂಶ್ಚ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧೋ ದೀನಬಂಧೋ ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ್ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಕಾಂತ್ ರಾಧಾಕಾಂತ್ ನಮೋಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗಿ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನುಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿಪ್ರಿಯ ವಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರುಭ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧುಭ್ಯ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಷ್ಠಾ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವೇ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತಿ ದೇಶ ತಾರಣೆ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸದಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಎನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ of course our sachinandan gaur hari mahaprabhu um himself he would always pray that my lord just let me have bhakti in my life <laughs> i don't want anything else i don't want anything so now we may say well shri chaitanya mahaprabhu himself is praying but he is in the mood of radharani why does he pray for bhakti mama janmani janmani ishvare bhavatad bhakti rahaitu ki tvai in the shikshashtakam you can see our gauranga mahaprabhu is praying that may i have bhakti lifetime after lifetime i don't want anything else so this question can come that chaitanya mahaprabhu is krishna in the mood of radha then why is he praying like this <laughs> that i want bhakti isn't he already having bhakti hmm kahite kahite prabhu dainya badila chaitanya charitamrit describes as mahaprabhu would chant krishna's name kahite kahite prabhu dainya badila his humility would increase and shuddha bhakti krishna tai magite lagila and he only prayed to krishna for shuddha bhakti and swarup damodar and ramananda rai would say that oh mahaprabhu you yourself are the embodiment of krishna prem because radharani is the embodiment of krishna prem mahabhava swarupa tvam krishna prema variyasi prema bhakti prade devi radhike tvam namami aham radhe vrindavanadhishe karuna amrita vahini kripaya nija padavya dasya mahiyam pradiyatam Our acharyas have prayed that Radha Rani is the embodiment of Krishna Prem, the highest level of Krishna Bhakti. And Mahaprabhu is Radha Rani's bhav. So Swarup Damodar and Ramananda Rai, they would say, Oh, Mahaprabhu is himself in the mood of Radha Rani. And Radha Rani is the greatest devotee. Now, how much more bhakti can someone ask for? <laughs> so Mahaprabhu would say, Preme Raswa Bhav, Jaha Preme Rasam Bandha, Sehi Mane Krishna Mora, Nahi Prema Gandha. Actually, Kaviraj Goswami writes this, not Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu would say, Na Prema Gandha Hosti. Hmm? That I, what to speak of Prem, Krishna Prem, love for Krishna, I don't even have the scent of love for Krishna, Mahaprabhu would say. And Kaviraj Goswami writes, Preme Raswa Bhav, Jaha Preme Rasam Bandha. That wherever there is pure love for Krishna, it is the nature of prem that say mane krishna mora nahi prema gandha all those who have love for krishna they will say i have no love for krishna <laughs> this is the nature of krishna prem that wherever krishna prem is present the person will never realize you see the lotus flower has the makaranda the honey in the middle and all the bumble bees are coming the honey bees are coming and drinking that nectar and they are realizing but the lotus never flaunts look i have honey the lotus doesn't even think he has honey <laughs> so to be humble and to be aware of one's humility they don't go together <laughs> one can if one is aware of one's humility one is not humble and if one is humble one doesn't think one is humble so it it's not possible that one is humble and is also aware of one's humility so kaviraj ko swami pad says preme re swabhav jaha preme re sambandha se mane krishna mor nahi prema gandha that where there is krishna prem sambandha that devotee doesn't think that oh i even have a scent of krishna prem so in this mood mahaprabhu he would say mama janmani janmani ishvare bhavatad bhakti rahaitu ki tvai that lifetime after lifetime just give me bhakti now you please tell me mahaprabhu has rebirth <laughs> janmani janmani he has no rebirth he is not under karma uh, why he should say mama janmani janmani because mahaprabhu is thinking that i am a conditioned soul in the mood of a conditioned soul who is praying to krishna for bhakti mahaprabhu is saying yes yes i am going to take rebirth so my lord i don't want anything please give me bhakti quite interesting 
even in the brihad bhagavatam rit you can see shila sanatan goswami pad has written something very interesting he says that to the extent humility rises to that extent love for krishna will rise and to the extent love for krishna rises to that extent humility will rise and to the extent humility now rises more love for krishna will rise and now more love for krishna rises more humility will rise this is quite interesting that to catch uh, krishna prem the patra the vessel is humility so bigger the hum- humble vessel more krishna prem you can hold <laughs> and more krishna prem comes in the heart the bigger becomes the patra the vessel of humility quite interesting and this is not humility of fake humility of acting that oh prabhu i am the servant of your servant i just want to be the dust of your lotus feet oh i am this i am that not like that true feeling ke ami kene amar jade tapatroy iha nahi jani prabhu kemon hi to hoy like shila sanatan goswami would say that my lord ke ami i don't even know what my swarup is eternally i don't know who i am kene amar i don't know who belongs to me and jade tapatroy i don't know why adi daivik adi bhautik adhyatmik these sufferings are coming on to me suffering caused by the mind suffering caused by Uh, others and suffering caused by natural calamity i don't know anything my lord but still people they call me pandit and i am actually believing them sanatan goes my father writes je mur naam shune tar punya chhoy kaviraj goes my writes those who hear my name oh they will go to hell he is written what is his name krishna das by hearing krishna naam who goes to hell nobody goes to hell alam 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 eka prani naam pataka naam uh, निरसन विषय या कृष्ण कृष्णे दिवाणी यदि भवति मुकुंदे भक्तिरानंद सांद्रा करतल कल कलतल तलिता सा मोक्ष साम्राज्य लक्ष्मी मुकुंद माला स्त्रोत्र हैज मेन्शन दैट जस्ट बाय सेइंग कृष्ण कृष्ण इति वाणी ऑन द टंग नो मोर वरी ऑफ हेल मा भीर मंद मनो विचिंत्य बहुदाम यामीश्वरम यातना नैवामी प्रभवंती पाप रिपव स्वामी ननु श्रीधर आलस्यम व्यपनीय भक्ति सुलभम ध्यायस्व नारायण लोकस्या व्यपनोपनो दन करो दास से किम न क्षमा कुलशेखर हेज सेड दैट वेन कृष्ण कैन मेन्टेन द होल वर्ल्ड द होल वर्ल्ड ऑफ पीपल हु डोंट डू भजन वाई वोंट ही मेन्टेन यू वेन यू डू भजन वेर इज द संशय वेर इज द डाउट Uh, where is the fear that yamadutas will catch me no fear no fear absolutely no fear don't break religious principles don't break scriptural principles if eating is pure association is pure and dharma is not broken and chanting of the holy name and hearing hari katha and no criticizing anyone nobody can drag us to hell nobody we we make our way to hell <laughs> sulaban bhagavan nama jiva cha vashavartini tathapi narakam yantim kim aschariya matapparam name is available hari katha is available shastra is available sadhu is available ekadashi is available tulsi is available bhagavatam is available shri brindavan dham is available giriraj govardhan is available radha krishna mahaprabhu are available guru and parampara is available and still we go to hell how is it possible not possible it's just that we are running away from this process that's why जीवान वक्ति भगवत गुण नाम धेयम चेत तत्मति न चरणारविंदम कृष्णा नो स्मरति तिर एक तनयध्वम सतो कृत विष्णु कृत्यान सिक्स कैंटो भागवतम डिस्क्राइब्स दोज हू बाव डाउन टू कृष्ण दोज हू रिमेंबर कृष्ण एंड दोज हू चैंट हिस नेम्स दे विल नेवर बी टच बै यम दूत नॉट पॉसिबल नॉट पॉसिबल सो द पॉइंट इज in mukundamala stotra it is said just by chanting krishna's name we will get krishna prem what to speak of the fear of yamadutas not possible and that krishna das kaviraj goswami who has name krishna das he says jay moran naam shunne tar punya chhoy those who hear my name they will lose all piety <laughs> so please uh, understand this is his humility utter humility self deprecating nature their vaishnavas their nature is to put themselves at the feet of others and materialistic people they like to put their feet on the head of others hmm. they will claim i am the best you know i know the world knows i am the best i am number one they fight like that materialistic people and vaishnavas they laugh <laughs> who is number one advaya gyana paratattva one is krishna 
as one reality and we are all ekale ishwara krishna are sava bhritya jare jai che na chai te tai che kare nritya so many verses are there so in the brihad bhagavatamrita it has been mentioned more krishna prem more humility more humility more krishna prem genuine humility it has been mentioned that the tree which is laden with fruits is the tree which bows down by the weight of those fruits and the tree which has no fruits will not bow down to anyone vidya vinayena shobhate how much knowledge and how much realization one has is seen by how much eager they are to respect others if the desire is to be respected by others to phir tumne kya sikha kuch bhi nahi sikha we have not learnt anything why because the greatest knowledge is to see krishna in all directions in living be- in all living beings at all times yomam pashyati sarvatra sarvam cha mai pashyati is it not to see krishna in all directions sarva bhuteshu yah pashyet bhagavan bhavam atmanah bhutani bhagavati atmani esha bhagavato uttama har kan mein aur har kshan mein prabhu ka darshan ye uch koti vaishnav hai the great vaishnav is seen by his drishti he or she you can put them in any circumstance and they will see krishna's hand <laughs> pralad maharaj could see krishna in a pillar is it not krishna broke the pillar and came for pralad hmm. ekant bhaktir govinde pralad maharaj gave his instruction to his friends that we should always see krishna in all directions this is the essence of all advice but conditioned souls cannot they are only seeing themselves <laughs> everywhere what they will think of me what he will think of me huh. what will the society think of me they are only seeing themselves around but when someone becomes a pure vaishnav they will see krishna in the heart of all living beings so when they see krishna in the heart of other living beings how can they expect that person to bow down to us instead they are very eager to bow down to krishna in the heart of all living beings mama mana mandire raho nishi dina krishna murari shri krishna murari oh krishna in my heart you are there but not manifest but in all their hearts your manifest so therefore i should bow down to all of them their heart is like an altar and krishna you are sitting as a deity and their body is the temple so let me bow down to this temple in this mood so this is genuine humility to see krishna all living beings connected to krishna all circumstances connected to krishna not seeing oneself hum hai aaj kal nahi hai dusre sharir mein hai कोई ठिकाना नहीं देर इज नो गारंटी प्रति श्वास स विश्वास राम स्मर दिने दिने पुनः श्वास न विश्वासो आगमिष्यति वा न वा देर इज नो गारंटी वेदर वील हैव अन अदर ब्रेथ सो वॉट एवर वी हैव एट दिस पॉइंट इट इज कृष्ण इज मर्सी राधा रानी इज मर्सी दैट ब्रेथ इज गोइंग ऑन इन द लंग्स इट इज राधा एंड कृष्ण इज मर्सी दैट ब्लड सर्कुलेशन इज गोइंग ऑन इन द बॉडी इट इज देअर मर्सी दैट थॉट्स आर कमिंग इन द माइंड एंड थ्रू वर्ड्स वी आर एबल टू एक्सप्रेस इट it is their mercy that heart beat is going on in the heart hum to nahi kara rahe kuch bhi we are not doing anything huh? we eat a fruit and how it digests in the body we don't know beyond the tongue we don't know anything right so humility to always be to always remember of the ultimate reality krishna is always in control i am an insignificant person before i came the world remained after i go also world will remain i am not a big person to always remember like in mathematics if there's a straight line and you put one dot in that what is the value of that one dot in comparison to an infinite line nothing almost insignificant so we are like that that infinite line is our lifetime after lifetime after lifetime after lifetime one body after another and present body is one dot <laughs> what we are doing in this one body is just a dot in comparison to the line of our lifetime after lifetime of transmigration very insignificant so therefore you can see the greatest example is shri goranga mahaprabhu himself greatest love nindantam pulakot karena vikasan niche prafula swamim it is described by prabodananda saraswati that chaitanya mahaprabhu when he would sing and when he would dance and when he would cry and when he would dance loudly jumping up <laughs> and then fall down like a bag of bones hair standing on end it's described so wonderfully 
like a car when Mahaprabhu moves around Jagannath it's like a cartwheel on fire <laughs> a golden cartwheel on fire and when he's crying everyone around is wet by his tears and when he is dancing everyone is astonished should we see at his gestures or his expressions or his beauty or his prem or his dancing and that Mahaprabhu who's flooding Krishna prem to the whole world he is making everyone chant and dance even animals in the Jari Khanda forest you can see even Shivananda Sen sends dog in the first chapter of Antelila Chaitanya Charitamrit sitting next to Mahaprabhu in Jagannath Puri and Mahaprabhu is throwing some coconut pulp and telling the dog Krishna Krishna Bolo <laughs> and that kukur that dog is eating coconut from the hands of Mahaprabhu and jumping and saying Krishna 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 <laughs> how astonishing <laughs> mm. So and that Mahaprabhu is saying, "Na prema gandhosti." I have no love for Krishna. Prema ra swabhav jaha prema ra sambandha se mane Krishna mor nahi prema gandha. I don't even have the scent. So in the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita, you can see uh, our Sanatan Goswami Pad has said, "Dainyastu paramam premna pari pake na janyate tasam golo kanari nam iva Krishna viyogata." Says that. <clears throat> In separation from Krishna, the gopis of Brindavan, they reach the ultimate state of humility. Because it was the ultimate state of love. And in the greatest state of love, the greatest humility develops. In Radharani's oceanic heart, which is an ocean of love, you can see there are hundreds and hundreds of waves of humility that are coming back and forth. So when Krishna, he takes the heart of Radha as Mahaprabhu, he's also experiencing and it's quite interesting. This has also been explained in, in, in the Shastra. That Kshuda ar khadya vastu ubaye jemon ubaye ubaye rahoy vinasha karan prema rajya e riti atti bilakshan ubaye ubaye rahoy vardhana karan. Quite interesting. Kaviraj Goswami Pad says, In this world, when there is hunger, mujhe bhook lagi hai, mujhe khana de do. When there is hunger, when someone eats, then what happens? The hunger dies. <laughs> Kshuda and Khadya Vastu Ubhaya Jeman Ubhaya Ubhayor Hoy Vinasha Karan. Hunger destroys the food inside by digesting it. And the food destroys the hunger. So they mutually eat each other up. <laughs> when there is hunger in the stomach and you put food, it digests the food faster. And that food kills the hunger. So the person doesn't feel hungry anymore. But in respect to Krishna Prem, it's the exact opposite. Prema Rajya E Riti Atti Bilakshan Ubhaye Ubhayor Hoye Vardana Karan. That more hunger for Krishna. <laughs> more hunger for Krishna. Uh, when one takes the food of Krishna Prem, Krishna Bhakti, then the hunger increases to get Krishna. <laughs> then one chants more, takes more food of Shravan and Kirtan, and that will increase the hunger to find Krishna. Ubhaye uh, Ubhayor Hoye Vardana Karan. Food and hunger, they destroy each other. But hunger to get Krishna and the food of Shravanam and Kirtanam, chanting the holy name. It's not that by chanting, the hunger to find Krishna is diminished. No. The hunger is there in the heart. Amar Krishna kothai, kothai go prema mai, radhe radhe, O oh Krishna. Ha ha praneshwari tua vichheda anale. O oh Radharani, in separation from you. Uh, my heart, dhiki dhiki jwale, it is burning like uh, it's a volcano. <laughs> so, when someone's heart is searching for Radha and Krishna, and they chant out, hey, jaya Radha, hey, jaya Krishna, jaya Brindavan. So, it's like food. But that doesn't destroy this hunger. <laughs> it increases. Now, more tears are coming than before. <laughs> Kaviraj Goswami has written like this. How wonderful. Unless one experiences, how can they explain? Hmm. Anirvachaniyam prema swarupam Narada Bhakti Sutra describes Narada Muni describes that Krishna Prem cannot be explained those who taste it they cannot explain because they are busy tasting the mango of Krishna Prem that they cannot describe it and let's say they describe it those who have not tasted it will not understand and those who have not tasted it if they describe then they are also not understanding listeners are also not understanding <laughs> So this Krishna Prem is a path of Anubhava. Bhakti Pareshan Anubhavo Virakti Anyatra Chesham Trika Eka Kala. Pratyaksha Avagamam Dharmyam Susukham Kartumavyam. This path is the path of the heart. 
Bhakti must be experienced in the heart, not theoretical presentation on the head. Not possible. Speaker speaking also is not understanding. Listener is also not understanding. They are clapping and the speaker is thinking wonderful. Everybody in illusion. <laughs> but those who have Krishna Prem, oh, they are tasting it, but they still can't explain it. Anirvachaniyam. What words will they say? Like if there is a, uh, there's a neem ka kida, there is an insect on a neem leaf, busy eating, chewing neem leaves all his life. Now, he comes and asks us, Amras ka art kya hai? What do you mean by uh, <laughs> mango juice? So what will you say? What will you say? Mitha, it is sweet. Now that insect will say, Mitha ka art kya hai? What is this sweetness? Explain. So we will say, man, it's very nice, it's tasty on the tongue. Mango is the king of fruits, it's yellow in color. There is a skin outside, there is a seed inside. The insect says, I'm not understanding, explain properly. Kya bole? Bole to bole kya? What are the words that we will use? It's not possible to explain how mango juice is like to someone who's only busy chewing neem leaves. So to all of us who are busy chewing the neem leaves of suffering in this world, how can we understand what the mango juice of Krishna Prem or love of Godhead is like? Therefore what Mahaprabhu did was in Kali Yuga, he opened everybody's mouth and he put it in the mouth. <laughs> he opened their mouth and gave them mango juice of Krishna Prem. And now they are tasting Krishna, 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 Rasa Asadilo. <laughs> they are tasting and they are calling out. Quite interesting. So at this point, as Mahaprabhu is crying like this, Mama Janmani Janmani Ishwari. Swarup Damodra and Ramananda Rai, they are saying, Oh, look at Mahaprabhu. What Adbhut Prem Dasha. Mahaprabhu is holding the neck of Swarup Damodra and Ramananda Rai and saying, Shuno more Pranera Bandha. Oh, my dear friends, please listen to me. Swarup Damodra and Ramananda Rai are listening and Mahaprabhu says, Nahi Krishna Prema Dhana Daridra Mora Jeevana Deha Indriya Britha Sabajai. All my senses are going wasted because prema dhana bina vyartha daridra jivan because I have no Krishna prema and without that my life is useless. This is how Mahaprabhu was <laughs> crying and weeping. And so Swarup Damodar Ramananda Rai said, then my Lord, then why are you crying Krishna, 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 Krishna and you're crying, this is bhakti and then you're saying you have no love. Mahaprabhu says, no, no, I am simply doing show off. Tabeje kori krandan, so saubhagya prakhyapan, korahi jani anishchay. Please understand that I am simply crying out the name of Krishna and tears are coming to show off to others. Look, I am a great devotee. Actually, I have no love. <laughs> this is how the ocean of prem is agitated by waves of humility. How amazing. Shri Govinda Padam Boja Makaranda Mahadadbhutam Ye Paino Na Muhyanti Muhyanti Yada Paina <laughs> Acharyas have said that if you drink alcohol in this world and you drink Krishna Prema Rasa, the nectar of love for Krishna, two opposite effects are seen. What are the similarities? Somebody who drinks alcohol in this world and somebody who drinks the nectar of Krishna Prem, or oh, both go crazy. <laughs> and for both the world thinks they have gone crazy. And in both cases, they leave their home. They can't even walk properly. They are singing songs, sometimes crying, sometimes laughing, sometimes joking, sometimes rolling on the floor, sometimes jumping in the sky. This is common. But there is one difference between the two. Those who drink alcohol, they are bewildered. They are bewildered. They are confused. But those who drink the rasa of Krishna Prem, it's quite interesting. When you drink alcohol, you get bewildered. But Krishna Prem is exact opposite. If you drink, you don't get bewildered. You can see the world as it is, that there's a place of suffering. But if you don't drink it, then you're bewildered. Yad paino na muhyanti. And muhyanti yad apaina. Jo pita hai Krishna Prem ras. Krishna Bhakti ka ras jo paan karta hai. Those who drink the nectar of Krishna Bhakti. Uh, the, the intoxicant of Krishna Prem, let's put it like that. Oh, they don't get bewildered. They don't go high. <laughs> they see the world as it is. They see the reality behind this world that is Krishna. 
and those who don't drink this, oh, they are actually bewildered. In alcohol, if you don't drink, you're not bewildered. If you drink, you're bewildered. But Krishna Prem, exact opposite. If you don't drink, then you're bewildered. <laughs> but if you drink, then you see the world as it is. You see the world as it is. Bhukti mukti siddhi vancha mane ridhi hoy sadhana karloi prem utpannana hoy. So now is an important point that if we want this Krishna Prem in the heart, then one thing we must make very clear in our life that bhukti mukti siddhi vancha mane yadi roy. If there is desire for enjoying this body, there is desire to become God, there is desire to make a lot of money, there is desire to be famous, there is desire to be prominent and famous and popular and knowledgeable and a good singer, a good dancer, a good speaker, a good writer, a good artist. Everyone should see me. Everyone should glorify me. If these desires are there, then sadhana karloi prem utpana na hoi. He can do as much sadhana as possible, but prem will not rise in the heart. Bahu janma kari yodi shravana kirtan tabutana pai krishna pade premadhan. We have to make it a point that we kick out these desires. Moment to moment. Aisa karunga to mein famous ho jaunga. Aise karunga to bhoat dhanar jan hoga, bhoat paisa milega. Aisa hoga to phir log mujhe vava kar karenge. Aisa karunga to kayenge, wah, kitna bada admi hai, kitna... If this is the desire, moment to moment we are thinking, how I will get more recognition? How I will get more claps? How I will get more acknowledgement and respect? How I can make more money? How I can have a big circle of friends? Oh, on Facebook, on Instagram, I have so much following. If this is the mindset, I have so much subscribers. I want to be famous. I want to be popular. Everybody should talk about me. They should glorify me. I want to be number one. Or, <coughs> I want to be gifted and talented in many ways. Hmm. I should have the poetic ability, Kavita. Or, the opposite gender should be attracted to me. Kavita, Amva, Sundari. So Mahaprabhu has kicked out these four main things which keep us in this world. Dhanam, wealth, janam, followers or family slash relatives and extended connections. And Sundarim, the opposite sex. Always thinking of women, always thinking how I can do something, cut a joke so that the girls will see me. I remember when I was in college, I, there was one guy in our in our campus. He was like a... Chocolate boy. <laughs> he thought he was some Bollywood actor. And, and well, <laughs> he, very evidently he would have like a lot of friends and he would loudly cut jokes in front of the girls and then they would look at him and laugh. And then he, he liked to be like that popular guy where all the girls were laughing at his jokes. But now what? You wasted all your time, Baba. <laughs> they are all married to different boys and different relations and gone now you wasted all that time if that much energy would have been put to impress the heart of Krishna Krishna would remember you lifetime after lifetime <laughs> anyway we have to use our vocal energy and time and energy why not put it for the highest purpose where you'll get best business return eternal return only profit and no loss this profit, this business, no loss, only profit. And million time for profit, <laughs> eternal profit. Acharyas Acharyas have written, the boss in this world give, will give salary only till the time you perform in the company. When you stop performing, he will kick you out. He will hire and he will fire. Second, let's say even if he is very impressed. Never will that day come when he will say, why don't you move into my house? We will live together in the same house. He will never do that. And third, let's say even if he does that, he will be low class character drinking and smoking and eating meat and having foul speech this is how he is and we spend all our life pleasing boss like this and look at krishna clean character param brahma param dhama pavitram paramam bhavan and 
even if you don't work for him, he still gives you breath. And if you work for him, then he will remember lifetime after lifetime. You do little work and he will, you will get pension lifetime after lifetime. And if you do very good work, he will pull you to his eternal home and say, you stay with me. How amazing. Where will you get a boss like this? <laughs> so by, by force, we must try to curb these tendencies. Na dhanam, na janam, na sundarim, kavitam va jagadisha kamaye. Mahaprabhu has used the nakar, na, before each of these words. Na means no, no, no. If you run behind money also, ask yourself, Kitna paisa bana loge? Lakh ho, karod ho, uske aage kya? How much money will you make? 100,000 a year, 500,000, half a million a year, 1 million a year, and then what? You have seen there are people who have made much more money and they leave all of that behind. <laughs> Every cent is left behind. So therefore, hmm, Bhagavatam has described that Jeevasya Tattva Jidnyasa Nartho Yascheha Karma Bhi. This is very important. Kamasya Na Indriya Preeti Labho Jeeveta Yavata Jeevasya Tattva Jidnyasa Nartho Yascheha Karma Bhi. Only perform as much work as money comes in to keep everything going. Bas. And use maximum time for doing bhajan. Be responsible in your work. Not negligent. Do your work. But understand. This is done so that bhajan can be done. Not that I do this so much that Krishna Bhakti is forgotten. This, this is very important. So, na dhanam, na janam, na sundarim, kavitam. So, sundari kavita can be one adjective, which means beautiful poetry. <laughs> I should be talented to write beautiful poetry. Or sundarim and kavitam can be two words. Sundari can be the opposite gender, boys, girls, girls, boys. And Kavita will mean glorification. Hmm? So these are three things that we want. We want a lot of wealth. And we want the attention of the opposite sex. And then we want fame. Shariram surupam yathava kalatram yesha charu chitram dhanam merutulyam manasche na lagnam guru rangri padme tathakkim 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 sharanga di vedo mukhe shastra vidya kavitva di gadhyam supadhyam karoti manasche na lagnam guru rangri padme tathakkim tathakkim Tathakim, tathakim. Shri Padadi Shankaracharya has said, let's say if we have a very young, beautiful, well-shaped body and wife is also very beautiful and both of you have a lot of wealth and you're famous eternally and internationally. Still, if there is no bhakti in the heart, you will not make such substantial joy. You will not make advancement. So, these things must be given up. Sarva upadi vinir muktam tat paratvena nirmalam rishikena rishikesha sevanam bhakti ruchate. That's why in the Narada Pancharatra bhakti is described as kicking all other um, desires outside. On purpose, we must ask ourselves moment to moment, sad asad vivek cheshta. We should ask ourselves, if I do this, will it take me to Krishna? Answer is yes, do it. It's not going to take you to Krishna, then you can delay. No harm. If it is, if it is needed for material upkeep, do it. Neither material upkeep nor spiritual advancement, kick it out. Not needed. So to give up on purpose, unwanted desires, and then to do bhajan. Oh, that is called bhakti. Very important. If Actually, Jesus also says something like this in the Bible. He says the hand that feeds, it's quite interesting. He says the hand that serves the flesh can serve God with the same intensity. So if this is the hand and it's serving flesh, it can serve God with the same intensity. <laughs> so you have to pick one or the other. So, I accept you hot or I accept you cold, but if you're lukewarm, I spit you out, says Jesus. <laughs> so either be a hardcore materialist and do what it takes in this world and run around. Again, there is no stability there. So we will come here only, but after a few lifetimes. Or perform bhakti and full on, fired up. Don't look back. Don't get distracted. Don't get lukewarm. If you have to be in the army, you have to practice. You have to practice through ice. You have to practice through heat. You have to crawl on your knees. You have to fast without food. Right? Even if bullets are there, you still fight. Kargil war going on, 12 bullets in the body. Still, he fights and he gets a Paramvir Chakra. This type of intensity is needed to be in the army, to be in the air force. 
right? To be in the Navy, you need to have this intensity. And what to speak of bhakti? You're going against the current of Maya to get Krishna. So if someone is uh, harboring these desires, that I want a lot of money, I want to be very famous, everybody should talk about me, in everything glorifying oneself and criticizing others. If this we are doing by force, by purpose, we are nourishing it, and then we are chanting to the side also, it will not fructify. It will not fructify. It is like when you water the plant, you are also watering the weeds. And that weeds will grow and choke the plant down. So you have to give up these tendencies and then chant. Even Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur has said this. Krishnera samsara kori chadi anachar jive daya krishna nam sarva dharmasar. That give up all bad tendencies. Chant the holy name. Serve everyone. And in this way you will get Krishna. If the weeds are uprooted, even little water is given, you will see the plant will grow. If someone gives up these tendencies and chant 16 rounds sincerely, they will make more advancement than someone who is cultivating these tendencies and chanting 100 rounds every day. It is not how many rounds we are chanting, it is the quality in which we are calling. So these tendencies must be given up. In Sanskrit it is called Anvai and Vyatirek, the positive and the negative. So in the third verse, Mahaprabhu in Shikshashtakam, he is saying, Trinadapi sunichena, tarorapi sahishnuna, amanina manadina, kirtaniya sadahari. Chant the holy name, respect everyone, don't expect respect, tolerate all provocation and always be humble. That's the anvai, that's the positive side. But then the immediate question is, then what should we keep away from? So in the fourth verse, he talks about vyatirek, na dhanam, na janam, na sundari kavitamam jagadisha kamaye. Give up all these tendencies. And then chant Krishna's name. Achira Krishna Tumar Karibe Uddhar. And then very quickly Krishna will shower mercy. And this is why we see even Srila Rupa Goswami in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. He has said, Anya Abhilashita Shunyam. Jnana Karmadi Anavritam. Anukulyena Krishna Anushilinam Bhakti Ruttama. He says, give up all material desires. Unnecessary desires. And even when you perform bhakti, don't perform bhakti expecting what I will get out of it. Or don't perform bhakti to show others how great a devotee I am. Or don't perform bhakti to become one with God. Mujhe Bhagwan banna hai. No. Give up all this in the first line. Then he says, Anukulyena Krishna Anushilanam Bhakti Ruttama. Then under a great Vaishnav, following rules and regulations, under their guidance, you perform bhakti or oh, this is then first class. Like this, this has been explained. So, <clears throat> you can see even in the seventh canto of Prahlad Maharaj, he, he has said this, that my Lord, please don't tempt me with material desires. Because Prahlad Maharaj, <laughs> after Hiranyakashipu's departure and deliverance, Nashinga Dev asked Prahlad Maharaj, ask for whatever you want. So Prahlad Maharaj said, my Lord, I am really afraid of material desires. Please, tat sanga bhito nirvindo mumukshustva mupashrita. I have taken shelter of you, not so that you give me material desires. Putravan, dhanavan loke, dirgayu rupa jayate, yam yam kamayate, kamam tam tam prapnotya samshayam. Uh, that those who don't have a son will get a son. Those who don't have long life will get long life. Those who want to become a king can become king. My Lord, I don't want any of this. I just want bhakti at your lotus feet. I don't want anything. Please don't cheat me. Naham vande tavacharana yor dvandva madvandva heto kumbi pakam gurum api hare narakam napanetum ramya rama mridutanulata nandane napirantum bhave bhave ridaya bhavane bhava yayam bhavantam nasta dharme navasunichaye naiva kamo pubhoge yad bhavyam tad bhavatu bhagavan purva karmanu rupam e tat prarthyam mama bahumatam janma janmantarepi tuat padambo ruha yuga gata nishchala bhakti rastu. My Lord, Naham Mande, I am not bowing down to you to, so that you can pull me out of this world. Nay, Mujhe Nahi Chahiye. Wherever you keep me, I am happy. Kumbi Pakam Guru Mapihare Narakam Napanetu. I am not chanting your name so that I can cut all my sins with it. One very great sadhu, he had cancer and he was chanting the holy name, so many lakhs of names every day. So another sadhu asked him, by chanting your holy name, you, you should be able to destroy cancer. Why are you not praying for it? <laughs> so this sadhu, he smiled and he said, To kill a mosquito, why should I invoke a brahmastra? <laughs> he said, chanting the holy name is like a brahmastra. 
and this body anyway is going to perish whether today or after 10 years it's going to perish so why should I use the name of Krishna which is like a Brahmastra to kill a mosquito called cancer in this body I will use Krishna's name to get him nothing shorter than that uh, I'm not gonna get distracted he said so I am not chanting your names my Lord to protect myself from hell I am not chanting your holy name so that I enjoy the position of Indra Nasta dharme na vasu nichaye naiva kama upabhoge I am not chanting the holy name to show others I am a very dharmic person. I am not chanting the holy name so that I can get a bigger house and lot of money and son and family and following nothing. Uh, none of this. Yad bhavyam tad bhavatu bhagavan purva karmanu rupa. My Lord, according to my destiny, wherever it takes me, I am okay. Kita janma ho yatha tuva das. Bahir mukha jan, brahma janmi nahi as. My Lord, if you make me brahma, but I have no bhakti for you. I don't want it. Better you make me an insect in the house of a devotee. So at least I can hear Krishna Nam and I can get some prasadam. And even if I die, I will be at the feet of a Vaishnava. No, no harm. <laughs> this is my desire. Etat prarthyam mama bahumatam janma janmantarebi. Lifetime after lifetime, my Lord, my only desire is bhave bhave ridaya bhavane bhava yayam bhavantam. My only desire is may I have bhava for you in my heart. Mukunda Murna Pranipatya Yache Bhavantam Ekantam Yantamartham Avis Mrutistva Charanaravinde Bhave Bhave Mestu Bhavat Prasadat. Lifetime after lifetime, my Lord, may I never forget you. Kabhi nahi, kabhi na bhulu aapko. This, you please give me this desire. Please remember, dear devotees, when there are many crows sitting, small crows sitting, if an eagle comes there, then what do you think happens to all these crows? They will fly away. Right? So the desire to get Krishna Bhakti in the heart is like an eagle. And when that lands in the heart, all other desires which are like crow, they will all run away. <laughs> so we should develop this desire. My Lord, I only want Bhakti towards you. You can see in our heart there are many material desires. Many material desires. We don't even know how many material desires we have in our heart. And they are all like frogs in a pond. You can't see how many frogs are there in a pond. But you let an elephant come inside. If an elephant steps into the pond, what will happen? All the frogs will start jumping out. <laughs> so if the desire to get Krishna becomes very strong, it's like an elephant entering the pond hot. Then all the frogs, which are like small material desires, they'll all run away. They will jump out. Uh, so two examples, eagle landing and all the crows flying away or an elephant coming in and all the frogs jumping out. Either way, to develop the desire to get Krishna. Once this desire is developed, oh, then everything, um, then everything is taken care. Rupa Goswami Padan Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. He also says, Bhukti Mukti Spriha Yavat Pishachi Ridi Vartate Tavat Bhakti Sukasyartha Katham Abhyudayod Bhavet. Hmm? Udayo Bhavet. How can Bhakti Abhi Udaya Abhyudayod Bhavet? How can Katham? How can Bhakti rise in the heart where there is a ghost? of material desire sitting. Bhukti Mukti Spriha Yavat Pishachi Ridhi Vartate. Rupa Goswami calls material desires as a ghost. Why ghost? Because when you're hungry and if there's a if the body is haunted by a ghost, whatever you eat goes to the ghost. You still continue to be hungry. So when you perform bhakti, that is like feeding ourselves. And when the ghost of material desires are there, when you chant the holy name, those material desires are getting stronger, but our heart is still vacant. Understand? So when a ghost takes over a living entity, and if uh, we eat something, then the ghost is fed. <laughs> the ghost becomes stronger, but we still feel hungry after a few hours. So similarly, when the body is haunted by the ghost of material desires, every time we chant and hear and we do all this, material desires are going to get stronger. Because it is like watering the weeds, in the, which will choke the plant. And then we, our heart is still vacant. So therefore, it is important that this ghost is driven out. Otherwise, katham abhyu dayo bhavet. How can bhakti rise in the heart where the desire only is not there? If our desire is to be happy in this world, why will, how will bhakti have any effect? No effect. Because bhakti means I want to serve Krishna. <laughs> Bhakti means I want to serve Krishna but if the desire is there that others should serve me and please me how is it possible if the servant wants to be the master let's put it like this 
if there is a servant who desires to be the master how can he serve his master properly it's not possible it's not possible agar koi malik hai swami hai aur uska sevak hai aur wo sevak bhi swami banna chahta hai to apni swami ki seva kar hi nahi sakta theek se if there is a person who is a servant and he also wants to be a master he will not serve his master properly because the desire to serve is not there but on the other hand if that desire is only not there to be a master then he can serve his master with all his heart so it is like this being happy in this world is like being the master i want to exploit circumstances and people so that they serve me and i be happy that desire of iness and minus is there then how can we serve krishna in the mood of a servant katha mad abhyutayo bhavet it's not possible therefore we have to प्रभु तव पद जुगे मोर निवेदन नाही मागी देह सुख विद्याधन जन आई डोंट वॉन्ट एनी ऑफ दिस माई लॉर्ड यू प्लीज प्यूरिफाई माई हार्ट एंड ओनली गिव मी भक्ति मम जन्मनी जन्मनी ईश्वरे भवता भक्ति रही तो की थी देर इज नथिंग एल्स दैट आई वॉन्ट माई लॉर्ड देर इज एब्सोल्यूटली नथिंग एल्स दैट आई वॉन्ट प्लीज प्यूरिफाई माई हार्ट कंप्लीटली प्यूरिफाई माई हार्ट ब्लेस मी सो दैट ऑल माई मेटीरियल डिजायर्स आर टेकन अवे so that only one desire stays in my heart and that is the desire to serve you there is nothing else my lord hmm. therefore shila bhaktivino thakur in bhajan rahasya he has said bina jatne dukher ghatana nahi hoy sei roop kalakrame sukher udai bina yatna dukher ghatana jena hoy just like one gets joy uh, sorry just like one gets sorrow or misery in this world without any hard work nobody does hard work mujhe malaria ho jaye ek bar mujhe ek bar fever aa jaye <laughs> nobody does hard work like that we get suffering by its own natural accord similarly joy will also come don't waste bhakti to be happy in this world according to purva janma karma whatever joy is written it will come don't worry about it don't pray to krishna and butter krishna and use the limbs of bhakti to be happy in this world instead use this life to offer incomplete bhakti athayeva chauda loke durlabh jai dhan sei bhakti janya jatna kar budh jan bhakti vinod thakur has said understanding that bhakti is a rare commodity not found in this world give your heart to it don't use bhakti to get things of this world which anyway you can get without bhakti also dogs can also get to eat and they also have a family and they also impress upon female dogs <laughs> they also have the same thing same tendencies that we have so why use bhakti to behave like that let me sing nicely and impress others let me speak nicely and impress others let me uh, do something and impress others well you can do that just by singing bollywood songs also you will get more fans there why use bhakti to be popular in this world why use bhakti to make money why use bhakti to do other things which anyway is possible in this world in fact use bhakti to get krishna which is the rare commodity just like last example to conclude if someone has fallen into a ditch and you throw in a ladder to pull them out imagine they sit in the ditch and now they are feeling cold so they start cutting the different ranks of the ladder to make a bonfire think about it if let's say someone has fallen into a ditch and you throw a ladder inside so that they can hold on to the ladder and come out now they are sitting in the ditch for quite long time uh, for quite some time <laughs> now instead of climbing up the ladder what they are doing they are taking an axe and a saw and cutting the different steps of that ladder and putting a bonfire and <sighs> they are creating fire there and feeling happy now what's going to happen they may feel happy temporarily in that ditch but the more ranks they cut they can come out of the ditch they can come out of that open well instead they should just climb out <laughs> of that well that open ditch with that ladder this is what we do bhakti is the ladder that is put in the open ditch of this world so that we can use and come out and go to krishna but instead we are using bhakti to find bonfire in that ditch to bring joy in in this world let me chant krishna's name so that i am be happy let me impress others let me make more money let me make this make let me make that and using the ladder of bhakti by cutting different ranks for temporary joy what will happen yes you may get some heat in that ditch but you will not come out <laughs> so the essence of the whole discussion today is please forgive me if i bored you with uh, you know i didn't say any story and 
don't please don't hold it against me i was speaking <laughs> hard hitting philosophy <laughs> please forgive me but some surgery is needed sometimes <laughs> for all of us we need to hear shastra siddhanta baliya chitte na kar alas ihe hoite krishna lage sudrida manas it is needed that we get some open heart surgery without anesthesia <laughs> through the words of our acharyas we cut through the tumor of material desires out very very much needed gaura premanande hari hari bol shila prabhu pad ki jai anant koti gaura bhakta vrind ki jai nitai gaura premanande